Liberals were quite aware of America's imperfections, but they agreed with Abraham Lincoln that America is the last best hope of Earth. The left, however, believes the left is the last best hope of Earth and regards America as racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic, violent, and imperialistic. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. So, guys, we're back here on a new video. We are here with an amazing video. Left or Liberia? We're gonna choose. <laughs> so, I stand, I stand with Donald Trump. So, no one should get me. I know I'm just starting the video, but I stand with Donald Trump. I love him. And I don't know what, how this video is going to go, but <laughs> Mr. support of Donald Trump. What's the difference between a liberal and a leftist? This question stumps most people because they think liberal and left are essentially the same. But they're not. In fact, liberalism and leftism have almost nothing in common. Mm. But the left has appropriated the word liberal so effectively, almost everyone, liberals, leftists, and conservatives, thinks they are synonymous. But they're not. <laughs> Let me offer you six examples. One, race. Mm. This is probably the most obvious difference between liberal and left. The liberal position on race has always been a, the color of a person's skin is insignificant, and B, those who believe race is significant are racists. Meanwhile, the left believes the very opposite. Mm. To the left, it's the liberal attitude toward race. It's unimportant. That is racist. That's why the University of California officially lists the statement, there is only one race, the human race, as racist, and liberals have always been passionately committed to racial integration, while the left is increasingly committed to racial segregation, such as all black dormitories and separate black graduations at universities. Two, capitalism. Liberals have always been pro-capitalism because liberals are committed to free enterprise and because they know capitalism is the only way to lift great numbers of people out of poverty. It is true that liberals want government to play a bigger role in the economy than conservatives do. But liberals never opposed capitalism, and they were never for socialism. Opposition to capitalism and advocacy of socialism are left-wing values. 3. Nationalism Liberals believe in the nation-state, whether that nation is the United States, Brazil, or France. But because the left divides the world by class rather than by national identity, the left has always opposed nationalism. So, while liberals have always wanted to protect American sovereignty and borders, the left is for open borders. When the writers of Superman were liberals, Superman was a proud American whose very motto was truth, justice, and the American way. But that all changed a few years ago when left-wing writers took over the comic strip and had Superman renounce his American citizenship to be a citizen of the world. The left has contempt for nationalism, seeing it as the road to fascism. Better that we should all be citizens of the world in a world without borders. 4. View of America Liberals have always venerated America. Watch American films from the 1930s through the 1950s, and you will be watching overtly patriotic America-celebrating films, virtually all produced, directed, and acted by liberals. Liberals were quite aware of America's imperfections, but they agreed with Abraham Lincoln that America is the last best hope of Earth. The left, however, believes the left is the last best hope of Earth, and regards America as racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic, violent, and imperialistic. Wow. Five, free speech. No one has been more committed than American liberals to the famous statement, I wholly disapprove of what you say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. But the left is leading the first widespread suppression of free speech in modern American history. From the universities, to the tech companies that govern the internet, to almost every other institution and place of work. Of course, the left claims to only oppose hate speech. But putting aside the fact that the left deems hate speech anything it differs with, protecting what you or I might consider hate speech is the entire point of free speech. 
Six, Western civilization. Liberals have always championed and sought to protect Western civilization. Liberals celebrate the West's unique moral, philosophical, artistic, musical, and literary achievements, and have taught them at virtually every university. The most revered liberal in American political history, President Franklin Roosevelt, mm. often cited the need to protect Western civilization and even Christian civilization. Yet when President Donald Trump spoke of the need to protect Western civilization in a speech in Warsaw, the left-wing media, also known as the mainstream media, denounced him. They argued that Western civilization is no better than any other and that Western civilization is just a euphemism for white supremacy. So then, if liberalism and leftism are so different, why don't liberals oppose the left? In a nutshell, because they have been taught all their lives to fear the right. But as one of the best-known liberals in America, Harvard Law School professor Alan Dershowitz said, As a liberal, as an American, and as a Jew, I far more fear the left than the right. Dear liberals, conservatives are not your enemy. The left is. I'm Dennis Prager. Okay, how's the liberal? <laughs> So don't, don't come for me. For the leftists, please don't come for me. I support the liberal. Um, the liberals are just coming from the conservative. They're always angry with the conservatives because they don't want to change. They are so different. The leftists and the liberal, they are very different. It's like they're opposites of each other. Simple. That's how to just define it. They're opposites of each other. I kind of like understand it. All right, from time. Okay, this is not my first time seeing some, some of these words he said. He pointed out right here. Uh, I've tried to see some before. But... I feel like this contradiction keeps on going for years and it's not going to come to an end. As long as we have the leftists and the liberal, it will keep on going. Whenever a liberal make a decision and finally leave the post, the position he is, and the leftists to come in there, they change everything. It's just like what is happening now in America. Um, Donald Trump and also Joe Biden. So I, I get leftist point of view that the supremacy itself is not about America, America, that should be about the entire world. If you're about America, because you are racist and you are this kind of person, you are that kind of person. Libra keeps on saying, if you believe race is significant, you are racist. And that's true. Like, if you believe it's significant, we are all one. I keep on saying this in almost my entire video. We are all one. If you believe race itself is significant, that you should be distinguishing between the whites, between the black, between the brown, you are racist. Because you are intentionally picking them out. You are racist. It's, it's as simple as that. The leftists say there's only one race, which is a human race. If you don't believe in that, you are racist. There are contradictions between each other. And you can never merge them together. The liberal and the leftists are like oil and water. They can never settle. The liberals should stop fighting the conservative. They are not your enemy. The leftists are our enemies. <laughs> Let me put it like that. But I feel like we should come to a conclusion. I start to I stand with um, Donald Trump, um, supporter ever since. Um, I'm waiting for November for the election. And I believe Donald Trump is going to stand firm. A lot of things have been happening. I've been seeing you the news. I've been watching the news over uh, several times. And I've seen that trying to pin down Donald Trump for something that is not a his fault. And a lot of people have come out to, to support him that what they're pinning him for is not a try his fault. They're trying to ruin down his business. But I know he's going to stand stronger. This war about the liberal and the conservative, also about the leftists, it's, it is a continuous war. Because we are all opposite of each other. And if you support the liberal, you can comment down below. If you support the leftists, you can comment down below. If you support the conservative, you can comment down below. Say your opinion in my video, which side you support. Which side is going against which other? Because they're actually... They're never the same. They are not the same. I will never say they are the same because they are opposite of each other. President Franklin Roosevelt stated the need to protect Western civilization. When Donald Trump stated such thing, protect Western civilization, they came for him. The leftists came for him. Whenever Donald Trump is making a statement, the leftists always want to attack him that he's wrong. I don't know why they keep pointing that man as the bad person. Whereas he's not a bad person. He's literally not a bad person. He's the person that wants the best for America. And the leftists are not just saying it. But over time, they, they, their eyes are going to be open and they're going to see that Donald Trump is making great impacts to America. He's making it American great. 
greater than it has been. So whether you come for me, whether you comment down below, bad thing about me, but the truth is stand. Donald Trump is the best president for America. And I will keep on standing for him. No matter what people say, no matter what people want to do to me, I will keep on standing for him. Comment down below, think about this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I, I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all